Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers. As always, not doing a top three video. This time, talking about the NFL draft and doing my mock draft for the 49ers by position. This is gonna be interesting just because I'm not gonna be naming players exactly on who should we draft, like the number two overall pick or the number 36 pick in the second round. I'm gonna be doing which positions that the 49ers should be focusing on within that draft pick. So, for example, the first round, they can go for a wide receiver. The second round, they can go for a defensive lineman, something like that. I think you guys know the gist of it. Also, within it, I'll probably talk about some prospects that I like, but I'm not going to be picking one player exactly just because there's a lot of variables. I don't really believe in mock drafts that much except in the first round. A lot going on, and that's what I'm going to be doing for this video. Going to get to it. Before I do, going to be talking about Rombo Sports a little bit. I did an interview with him yesterday night with him. It's going to be airing on Thursday night for you guys in California, so that should be really fun right there. It was a blast. I had a lot of fun. We talked about the NFL draft coming up. We talked about in Injured players like Kawan Alexander and how we felt about them drafting injured players and taking a risk with it. Be on the lookout for that tomorrow. I'll definitely post some stuff on social media and on my community posts, letting you guys know when the interview is going to be airing. It was about like 40 some minutes long. Be on the lookout for that. It was a lot of fun. Rombo, if you're watching this, appreciate you giving me the opportunity to be on your channel. That out of the way, let's get this video started. Before I do, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. Let's get this started. Mock draft for the 49ers by position. All right, to the draft. This should be very interesting by position. Going to be talking about rounds one through six. We have one first rounder, a second rounder, a third rounder, a four, and two six. So we do not have a fifth rounder this year, assuming that the 49ers do not trade for anything. If they just keep all six picks, that's what we'll be basing it on. Because as of right now, they haven't traded up or traded down anything. I'm not going to be doing anything like that. Just going to be mentioning the six picks that they have. Let's get this started. So the first round, I think this is pretty obvious with the number two overall pick. Pick a defensive lineman for the last time, hopefully in a long time. Some notable players that we should go for. Josh Allen from Kentucky. Nick Bosa, Ohio State. Quentin Williams, defensive tackle from Alabama. That guy's a big boy. Those are some guys that I believe in the first round they should be going after. If they do, I think the defensive line would get bolstered even more, including the additions of D4. We got our boy DeForest Buckner. There's a lot of good things to happen if they do draft a defensive lineman because I believe these guys right now coming out of the draft, they're a once-in-a-lifetime player in the sense that they're going to be really good. They can be like 10-time Pro Bowlers for any team. I'm excited for that. First rounder, go to a defensive lineman. All right, to rounds two to three. This is the more interesting part of the draft in my opinion because there's a lot of variables that can go on with this. They still have a lot of needs in my opinion in terms of depth and maybe just in terms of starters as well. For the second and third rounders, you can either go with the wide receiver or a safety. I think those two are really big needs for the 49ers in my opinion. Some of you guys are wondering why we need a wide receiver. We have a lot of people there. Sure we do, but we just don't have that guy that can just we can rely on and score a touchdown, move the ball all the way down to a touchdown. We have guys that can move the chains, but can we score a touchdown? And I think that's the big question with the 49ers coming into 2019 is can they get six points instead of three points because for the past couple of years they've been really struggling with that they've been scoring a lot of three pointers with Robbie Gold or Phil Dawson or something like that so they really need to get someone that we can rely on that can score touchdowns even with Garoppolo being the starting quarterback we still struggle with that under him second rounder for me I'm going more of a wide receiver some notable prospect we can go for is Debo Samuel from South Carolina Kelvin Harmon from NC State a lot of you guys have been mentioning Butler he's a really big guy right there many of you guys have commented on him so that's a really good prospect as well a big receiver problem with him is he doesn't have the best hands and you know we got to have guys that can have hands maybe that's why he might not go in the second round maybe in the later rounds those are some prospects that I can mention right now for the 49ers in terms of the wide receiver position next up the safety position I think in the third round they should be going for that Juan Tornhill from Virginia Tech I think that's the Virginia school he went to he could be an option right there I think Abraham could be an option but he's probably going to be gone by the first round wide receiver safety those two for rounds two to three respectively I think they should be looking into those guys into those positions as well because I think there's a lot of talent within the middle of the second and third round for those guys within the receiver and safety positions all right rounds four through six this is an interesting part of the draft as well for me personally if I'm the general manager for the 49ers I'll be looking more for depth and people to replace eventually since they're getting older up there in age for example in the fourth round I'm going to be going with an offensive tackle you're wondering why am I doing that but Joe Staley he's not getting any younger he's set to be a free agent in 2020 they really need to find his replacement eventually his successor to his offensive tackle position because as everyone knows father time is undefeated and nobody 
can pretty much outlast except maybe Tom Brady. He's looking like he's doing a good job with that against Father Time. But other than that, everyone else falls victim to it. And we got to find a replacement for Staley eventually, in my opinion. A notable prospect for me is Caleb McCray, offensive tackle from Washington. He looks like he did a pretty good job in Washington and watched a little bit of tape. If he sits out for a year or two, maybe he can flourish in the NFL. I'm not sure. You know, I ain't no GM, so I can say whatever I want and nothing's going to happen with the 49ers with that. Offensive tackle for Joe Staley his replacement, his successor. I hope they find one in the fourth round. For the sixth round, this should be interesting as well. This is more for depth too, not really for anything. Nobody else really needs to be replaced in my opinion, but the two six rounders that I could be going for maybe are cornerbacks and tight ends. Tight ends, you're wondering why am I putting tight ends? Maybe we could pair a guy with George Kittle because John Lynch, he's very good at finding gems in the later rounds, i.e. George Kittle, Adrian Colbert in his rookie year. He's found a lot of great gems within the late rounds. Also, Marcel Harris, he had a great season at the end with us in 2018. Lynch, he knows how to find talent in the later rounds, and I believe he can do so with a tight end and a cornerback. I probably won't be naming any prospects within it. I'm not that crazy about it. Cornerback, tight end, doesn't matter what they do with the six rounders, but those two positions, I believe they should be going for in this year's draft. That's pretty much it, you guys. In summary, first rounder should go to a defensive lineman, second pick overall. Second rounder should go to a wide receiver. Third rounder should go to a safety. Fourth rounder should go to an offensive tackle to succeed Staley eventually. And the sixth rounder, doesn't matter which one you want to do. I'll go for a cornerback and or a tight end. Please let me know what positions you're going to be looking forward to for this NFL draft. Please, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you want to put some prospects within it, I don't mind that at all. Please do that as well. I encourage you guys to comment as much as possible. Tomorrow, look forward to the Robbo Sports video interview on his channel. I'll definitely have links to that eventually for you guys. That's pretty much it. Please like and subscribe to support my channel that would definitely help me out a lot and i'll be catching you guys up tomorrow for throwback thursday i'll see y'all then bye guys love y'all y'all have a good rest of your day go niners all day